Right, for uh, this kind of problem, uh, you do need to first kind of understand that when you are calculating the inverse sines, uh, you're going to get values in uh, quadrants one and four. So if you're trying to find a, a quadrant or an angle in quadrant two, you're going to have to do some um, management of the what the figure or graph looks like. For cosine, inverse cosines, you have quadrants one and two. So again, where you have to make the adjustment would be in quadrants three and four. So you can see that that's the case here. And then finally, for the inverse tan, your calculator is going to display values uh, in quadrants one and four again. And so once you get to two or three, you have to make an adjustment uh, for those as well. So uh, in order to solve for these, let's take the, the inverse sign first. So what we're going to do is we're going to find where does that inverse sign lie uh, based on our calculator. Well, if we go into our calculator, since we're given degrees right here, we need to make sure we uh, put the mode in, in two degrees, which I need to change here. Okay, so now we're in degree mode. So if I take the inverse sign of that ratio, uh, 0.435, I get my angle measure to be approximately 25.79 degrees. And so this right here is the angle, this angle from here to here, is the angle that our calculator tells us uh, for that inverse sine. But we want to find what is it in quadrant two. Well, the signs correspond to the y-coordinates, right? When you're looking at the unit circle. So the xy coordinate is the cosine sine. So we're looking at this y-coordinate. So what we want to do is we want to find the point in quadrant two that has the exact same y-coordinate and that's going to give us the angle that has the same sign. So the angle that we're looking for here for our solution is going to be this angle from here to here. Okay, and in order to find that angle, we're going to use reference angles. So this angle here is a reference angle that's identical to the angle that we just saw. So if we want to find what this whole measure is, basically what we're looking to do is we're looking to go this whole 180 degrees and then come back this reference angle. So if I take 180 and I subtract the value that I got here, 25.79, I'm going to get my solution. So if I just take 180 and then subtract this value right here, I get my angle 154.21. So there would be my first answer. Okay. For a cosine, we're looking to do the exact same thing, right? So for a cosine, uh, when we plug the inverse cosine of that ratio into our calculator, so uh, inverse cosine of 0.9814, and we calculate this, we get approximately 11.07 degrees. So again, right here is the angle that we're finding. But this angle is in quadrant one, as we would expect for our inverse cosine, but, and we want to find the corresponding angle in quadrant four. Well, cosines correspond directly to the x-coordinate, right? Again, same idea, x, y, or cosine, sine on the unit circle. And so when we look at the angle on this unit circle that's going to have the exact same cosine or x-coordinate, what we see is it's going to be this angle here, so all the way around to this point. Okay. And again, we're going to use reference angles for that. So this angle here formed uh, between the terminal side and the uh, x-axis is the reference angle that's going to be exactly equal to the, the actual angle that we found uh, in our calculator. And so in order for, me, or in order for us to uh, calculate this whole measure from here to here, we're going to go this full rotation of 360 and then back this reference angle. So if we took 360 and we subtract that angle of 11.07, we'll get our solution for the inverse cosine. And so if I calculate those, I get uh, 348.93. Now, for both of these, you could actually like verify them too, or all of the angles that we're going to do here. So if I actually uh, took my cosine, so now we find the cosine of this angle that I just calculated, 
should be equal to 0.9814. And I can check it, 0.9814. If I take the, the sine of this angle right here, the 154, so take the sine of, and I go up and highlight the exact value, 154, that I got, I expect this value to equal 0.435. I hit enter and again, it confirms that I have the right values. All right, the final one uh, for tangents. Uh, here we'll do the tangent right here. All right, the tangent, when you take the inverse tan on your calculators, uh, it's gonna give you the solution in terms of quadrants one or four. Right? And so here, uh, if we take the inverse tan of um, 0.1057, and we calculate this. Notice uh, here, um, this gives you uh, the six point, about six degrees, so 6.038. Uh, for the angle measure. I, now, if you wanted to find uh, what the corresponding, so this angle right here is the 6.38 degrees. So once we find uh, what the given angle is in this quadrant one, um, for tangents, uh, in quadrant one, the tangent is a positive si cosine and a positive sine. So the tangent, which is a sine over a cosine, is gonna be a positive over a positive, so overall positive. Well, if you look at the other quadrants, quadrant two is gonna have a negative cosine and a positive sine, so that's gonna give you uh, an overall tangent that is negative, right? Because it's a positive divided by a negative. In quadrant three, you have a negative cosine and a negative sine. So sine divided by cosine is a negative over negative. So that's gonna give you an overall positive. Well, that's what we're looking for, is the other uh, quadrant where you have the positive. So our other angle that's gonna have this same tangent is gonna lie in quadrant three. So this is our angle and we have a reference angle formed uh, at the x-axis and that terminal side. And so to calculate this um, measure, uh, you're gonna take this 180 degree rotation here and then you're gonna add this reference angle of 6.038. So we can calculate this angle taking 180 uh, plus 6.038. And when you do that 180 plus this measure, you get your answer of uh, 186. Uh, 0.03. And once again, if I confirm this, I could take my tangent of that angle, just close it off. And when I take the tangent of that angle, I get my ratio of 0.1057. Okay. So that is how you would calculate those measurements.